Uh, it's actually not a new uh, performance. It's uh, two and a half years old. It's called Awake. Uh, it's a solo production that I have created um, in a way as a memory to my grandmother, who is uh, Bulgarian, yeah. which is very special for me to perform here with this piece. This piece has performed in the past two and a half years around the world and of course in Israel, but coming to Sofia and doing it here is of course very special for me. Uh, so, um, how do you feel the connection with Bulgaria, uh, inherited by uh, your grandmother, of course? So, how you how you personally uh, influenced by it? I'm in love with Sofia and Bulgaria. I must say, so always every time that I'm here, it's like magic is happening in my in in the air. I don't know. It's it's true. It's uh, it's again, of course, that feeling of belonging but of course I'm not from here so on one hand everything is new and on the other hand it's it feels familiar uh, I feel people here are very warm and in a way very similar to Israelis uh, in the directness in the openness in how they um, I think Sofia um, it feels like that Sofia is is in a moment that that it wants to grow, that it wants to uh, create new things. So I think, I think a change is coming, and I think it's a blessed change. And as for Sofia, of course, I, I, cannot, I cannot say for sure. I can only say what I sense. But I, I, I see that people are thinking, OK, what is the next step? What is the next interesting thing? What have we not uh, tried yet? Uh, and it's very interesting to be also professionally in a place where this, uh, when, where this hunger is uh, starting, you know, when, when the, the land is shaping again. Uh, and I, I feel it from, yeah, I feel it from the, the dancers, I feel it from the professionals, I, I, I feel it around me. I think, as I mean, as an audience, I feel ve I feel very, very welcomed here, and this is, is it's a great feeling. And and as the audience is watching, you know, the performance, or even here now in the new Bulgarian University in this workshop, I feel that the, you know, the students are are hungry to learn new knowledge and and to hear new ideas, and it's it's uh, it's very special uh, because you know, as human beings, we always also think that we know everything <laughs> so this openness I feel I feel it's it's very strong here um, so for you it's important the connection between the audience and very much this kind of feeling and circle of the connection actually I feel that my job as an artist is to communicate with my audience I do not perceive myself as you know, some ob object that you have to look at from afar. I mm. very much uh, feel that it's my job to have a dialogue with the audience, and this is what I do in my performances. As for the similarities to Israelis, uh, you know, we, I think we are, we are warm people, Bulgarians and Israelis. I think there is, it's, except for the language, I don't know what is so different. Well, Bulgarians are a little bit more polite than Israelis. <laughs> I think my grandmother, my Baba Dora Mushanova, I think she, ha she was the same. I think that, that I, this, is the, this is the similarity I have with her. Just saying, I don't know. Because it's something that, it's not me, I don't know. It's not, um, it's not something that I do, it's just. An energy. In you. It's an energy, <laughs> you know. But what is your message in your last uh, dance work? Uh, what you want we to get to people to get across from the things that you are doing? A message. Um, well, my first response to COVID, I I think was uh, uh, was love. <laughs> I created Loving Jerusalem project, uh, and it's a project that takes um, true love stories that people that I've asked people to tell me, the public, uh, and and I read hundreds of, of love stories, and I created a small miniature dance pieces out of them. There is a website, and 
you can see it, but it was a big project and it was my response to COVID, my intuitive response. I was working with an idea that I had. I got some funding from the municipality of Jerusalem and this was my project. So I, so my answer to your question would be love. But you know, love is not only, okay, let's fall in love. Love is also self-love and self-appreciation and to treat to treat each other with more uh, empathy and softness. I think we are all going through challenges and it doesn't have to do only with COVID, but COVID added so much to it. So I would say that if we could all um, see ourselves in the other and um, treat the other as in the same way that we would want to be treated, uh, then maybe the world will be a better place.